Now this is a beauty job that's a little more dramatic than the last one, a little more exciting in some ways. It's all about the makeup. And this is how I got the file to begin. This is the raw file and I went over it with the client deciding what we wanted to do with it, what she needed. The first thing I thought was that her face is a little bit too round, a little too wide. So the first things that I did before I began retouching was I trimmed her face in just a bit. Now this, when I turn this layer on, some of the skin retouching is done on here too, but you can see the trim and the skin retouch. Just to move in a little bit closer. Cleaned up the lips. A little cleaning on the lips, which were a little bit cracked and dry. And cleaned up around the eyes and inside the white of the eye. And some of the distracting little hairs and pieces of the netting that's showing down there. And I thought it would be fun to just kind of go up the layer, go up the layers and see what we did bit by bit. This is apparently the client thought this was a little bit distracting, so that's just a little bit of a blur on the the hair or the netting or whatever that is to make it sort of fall back a little bit and not be so detailed and distracting. Hmm. I think now I'm just following this file through. I think I put a little reality back in the lips. I'm not sure why. Let's follow the layer palette and see why. Here's a color correction. If you can see the cheek was brightening up. It was a little green over here. And this is apparently a darkened layer where we darkened down some distracting. I can kind of see how these are the masks, how the retouchers layers start adding in together. We'll look at the whole before and after, how the layers all add together to make the final product. This is just some retouching where we have a lightened layer, which you saw on the last girl. Here's some retouching on color on the lip. It's very, and this is retouching for you. It's just a very gentle shift. If you look right down here, The lip is, is, it's sort of got a yellow cast to it that's a little bit browny yellow and unattractive. So the yellow's been removed. So now it's a little more pinky blue. All just little subtle changes that add into the final product. I'm going to say what happened to the mouth here is that it was over retouched and I probably went back and got the original mouth and put it back on and started from there because it had probably gotten a little too smooth and so now this is going to look funny out of context so let's just all these layers thin line shine layer six clone shine lip and layer five are all little touches to the lip 
turn them all on at the same time, which is shine that I picked up from another image. I keep a folder that has different body parts that I can steal from for different jobs, things that I might need, like a very nice lip shine from a lip gloss uh, ad or something that has a beautiful sh shine on the lip that I cut out the mouth, put it in the folder, and if I need a, a shine, I can go get a real one because it's difficult to, to paint a shine that looks realistic. It's better to steal a real one from another file if you can. And that's exactly what that is. If you look at it, that's the beautiful little piece of shine that I stole from another image. Now all of these are just little small moves where I darkened in that line to give the edge to the lip. A little bit of a lightning effect there. And then this is, let's look at that curve. It's just a darkened curve. To darken in that light area that feels washed out. Now if we go back and look at that ultra smooth lip, this looks much better. Even though there's a lot of texture in here, it still looks real. Very small little adjustments. This is an adjustment layer. That's all it is that's on that layer. Just a little lightning effect where this area right here was a little bit too dark. All those little small changes add into the final effect. These are little small changes. That's a little piece of lip shine added to the top of the lip. Let's move in on that. It's probably also still in from another file. This layer is a piece of lip shine that is, has been put on, put on a lighten mode. So if I put it on normal, let's see what happens. Command Z to go back. Now the lighten pops out those little pieces of sparkly shine in that area a little bit more. I believe that's the same thing just added over to lighten and brighten that lip area. And a little bit more. This layer says it's a light layer, so probably a little more retouching. There it is right at the nose. We're discovering this file together. Lighten along the jaw. That's just the retouching. Color correction, her cheeks were too ruddy. If you remember the original file, she was very ruddy just removing some of the pinkness. And then brightening. She, here she looks like she has a little bit of a, a bag under her eye, so those things make her look a little bit tired. And she's supposed to be metamorphosing and coming up. She's being born. That was the idea of the artist who did her makeup. So we brighten that. And this is an overall lip move. Her lips were too pink and purple. You see these kind of bluish areas. This is a color move to make it a little bit more of a K 
candy apple red color. And the next is the selective color adjustment layer that is the color correction for her skin. They wanted this pale kind of just coming out of the egg sort of look or coming out of the, 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 her cocoon, I guess that is. This is an overall contrast move, pushing all, oh, pushing all of this back and accentuating, putting the emphasis on her face and popping the eyes. Poppy, nice. A, another little move on the eyes. And then a couple color corrections to the the straw. Last thing on top of the file, we find a couple of markups that tell us what we did on the last round, which was change the direction of the eyebrow and remove a little texture from her eyelid, things that have been addressed already. So total before and after. Retouching, when you have a retouch job, it never seems like it's done. The older retouch jobs, I go back and I've have a different feeling about them now than I did then. You always want to make changes. And as I go back and look at a file that I've done already, I feel like this contrast move is a little too heavy in this area. If you do an overall move like that, you should make sure, especially because a lot of times you're going to want to add contrast to uh, an image, most times you need to add a little contrast to it, but remember you can always brush in and out where you want to put it just to kind of undulate that effect. So getting a black brush, I can go to my mask here and just gently make sure that I have a soft flow on my brush Maybe gently brush that back just a little bit right there. Now, see, there's my mask. I think that's a little better. I think her eye was disappearing just a little bit. <laughs>